welcome you to another season of The Blitz, an inside look at UConn Husky football. I'm Joe D'Ambrosio, play-by-play voice for the Huskies, and it's my pleasure to be your host. And we kick the season off with the second-year head coach of the Huskies, Bob Diaco. Coach, welcome. Thank you. Glad it's, to be here. It's been a busy off-season, and from very. listening to your remarks and getting a chance to see it, it's been a very productive off-season. It has been, absolutely. We've, we've grown in every single area. There's not one area that I'm disappointed in in any way. What have you learned, Bob, about your team during this uh, preseason camp? I've learned an incredible amount. Um, I think one of the great things that I've learned is uh, it looks like they really like to play football. So when you have a group that, that uh, their reason for um, doing what they do is because they really love what they do, um, that's the best. Because no real variable can change that. So it looks like this team likes to play football. And also, uh, last week you announced four captains for the team, mm-hmm. and obviously chosen by the entire football family. You yes. get everybody involved in that. Yeah, everybody has a vote. I don't know why they wouldn't. Right. Um, I don't know why, um, you know, a, a, a sophomore uh, next next man in, uh, you know, defensive lineman would have a, a greater insight as to who would lead the team than, you know, an Anthony Poindexter or, a, or one of our directors. I mean, I would think every, everybody gets an equal vote. Brian Sheriffs uh, announced on Sunday at the uh, weekly press conference as the starting quarterback. Not a surprise because when we've watched him play, I think, frankly, speaking for a lot of people in the media, I think f- from an arm strength standpoint, we're surprised at how good his arm strength is and his, his mobility makes him a, a dual threat. He can make all the throws. Um, so you're standing next to a couple of guys. They're exceptional. You know, Garrett, Timmy, um, even Tyler. Right. I mean, they have exceptional arm strength. So... Um, does he have the arm strength that they have? Not at this point. But he can make all the throws. It's not not strong. Right. Um, he's got a strong arm, too. He's got good speed and good quickness, and, and he's a strong runner, and he's got some body when you hit him, you know? Um, so so he doesn't run like a tailback, though, right. either. You know? He's just um, he's going to be a good. He's got a lot of really good traits. Good speed something that I've never had in 62 <laughs> years. You've got a player at wide receiver, Noel Thomas, who you think is on the verge of having a breakout year. I do, yeah. He's a, there, there are some real um, unique wide receivers that I've been around in my past that, you know, I mean, right now they're pro bowlers. Um, so, so whether he can become that or not, but Noel's as good a wide receiver as I've been around. He's in the company of, of all those other guys. He's got very good speed, quickness, body control, strong route runner, big enough body to be an issue blocking, um, and he's got great hands, great hands. Courageous attacking the ball. So, I mean, I look forward to him having a very big year, absolutely. You bring a lot of people back on defense from a year ago. What have you liked best about what you've seen from your defense during the preseason? Communication. You know, communication has is, is been very, very good and much improved. Um, I believe that the depth of knowledge of the system is at a much greater level. Um, as you see them get lined up and put their eyes on their work and start to process how they might get attacked. It's just that next layer of, of uh, understanding. Right. Level 200, which yeah, we yeah, talked like, about. Yeah, yes, exactly. So we grow from level 100. Exactly. And there's more levels to go. Right. So. Game one against the Villanova team that will be either second or third in the FCS standings by the time his game, the game is played, led by the best player probably in FCS football and the quarterback, John Robertson. Oh, absolutely. Um, great player. Great player. You know, he doesn't give up negative plays because he delivers the ball on time uh, to spots that his players know where it's going to be, and they run to those spots. Um, that's spectacular and rare. This guy's... Got good size, good speed, um, and good athleticism. Uh, he's just your, I, and I bet he's just like a gym rat, probably. Right. Probably got a thousand high school points. I mean, he's just that kind of guy. Yeah, um, he comes across that way. That's for sure. I mean, I haven't spent any time with him, but I love watching him play. Well, you love you love watching him play more after Thursday night. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, final message to Husky Nation as we kick off year two. Exciting. The team's ready. Uh, the team's excited. The team has worked hard. The team's made a great investment. We're looking forward to seeing results on those investments. All right. You can head coach Bob Diaco. Thanks, coach. Good luck this year. Thanks, Joe. 
And now on the Blitz, it's our player profile. Delighted to welcome old number 22, Andrew Adams, redshirt senior safety, who recently was named captain. Congratulations, Andrew. What an honor that is. Yeah, uh, it's a great honor. Um, you know, just being able to to um, represent the whole the whole football program, just be able to lead this football team to a great season. You know, it's an honor. Your fifth and final training camp just came to an end. Is it hard to believe that this is it for you as far as camp is concerned? Yeah, you know, it seems like it flew by. You know, it seems like I was a little young pup freshman just, just last year. But, uh, you know, it's been a great journey, and uh, I'm just proud to be a Husky. What's the biggest change in Andrew Adams since you came to UConn? Uh, probably mentally. You know, I've uh, developed and I've matured. Football is a, a, a big mental game, so, you know, I think that's the biggest thing that, that um, I've picked up on. And you talk about the mental game. Going into camp, you talked about the fact that uh, you thought the team was becoming mentally tougher. Did you see that in recently concluded camp? Yes, I, uh, I definitely saw that. You know, um, physically, you know, camp, you know, takes a toll on your body. And, you know, in the past, when you physically uh, are, are, are exhausted, you know, your mental game starts to um, go out the window. But, but this year when guys, when guys were tired, you know, that didn't affect their, uh, their assignments and their, uh, and, their mental, and their mental toughness. Because in the game, in the fourth quarter, you still have to be uh, assignment sound. And uh, that's what uh, helps us finish teams off and in, uh, in, uh, getting the W in the fourth quarter. Now, Coach Diaco has sung the praises of you and Obi Mellon Fonru, the other safety, saying you should be the best safety duo in the conference, if not just one of the best in the country. Talk about how you and Obi work together and also the other guys in the secondary. You know, uh, me and Obi study film uh, um, after probably um, every practice for about an hour. You know, that's big. Um, and the other guys in the secondary look to uh, um, Obi and I as leaders, you know, they looked to us for, for advice on and off the field. So, you know, that, uh, that rapport just really brings us together and just allows us to play fast and, and well together. All right, now we have a little segment that we call Three and Out. First is about you. What's your go-to song in terms of pregame music? Um, I would say it's uh, Future. It's probably Blow It Back. I don't know if you've heard it, but uh, no, I haven't. I oh, just yeah. find that tough to believe. Oh no, yeah, it's uh, it's it's, it's future. He just uh, he just released a new album, and so that that's probably it. All right, I'll have to uh, put that on my yeah. iPad. <laughs> what your what was your favorite part of camp, other than the fact of, of it ending? What was your actual favorite part of camp? Uh, I think my favorite part of camp is just uh, hanging hanging out in the locker room and and enjoying all my teammates. You know. Because that's what I've heard. You can't get back. You know the the locker room talk and just the team bonding in the locker room, the stuff that goes on there. I think that's the uh, that's my favorite part of camp. All right, and the last one on three and out. What gets you the most pumped up on game day? Um, I would say just just knowing that I'm blessed to have have the opportunity to uh, step on the game field, uh, just just week in and week out. Because some guys, you know, don't have that. Uh, opportunity. So uh, I would just say I'm blessed to be able to play the game that I love. All right, let's uh, turn the focus to your teammates. What guy do you think made the biggest growth mentally or physically during camp? Um, probably Javon Hadley, corner. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's just becoming a great player in front of our eyes. Uh, you know, he's very competitive and uh, I'm just excited to see what uh, he's going to do this year. All right, second question. From what you can tell of your teammates, who had the best summer vacation? Was it you? Um, no, I probably wasn't me. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I would probably say uh, Jamar Summers. I saw him in Florida a few times on the beach, uh, hanging out, riding boats, stuff like that. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's a good summer. Yeah, he's a big. He, he's big on social media, so he posts all his stuff on social media. So from what I've seen, it's, it's, it's probably Jamar. All right, let's narrow this down. Of your fellow captains, of uh, the three other captains, Andreas, Julian and Marquise, and I think I know the answer to this. Which one is the loudest? The loudest? Probably Marquise. How so? Uh, you know, he's just very vocal uh, on and off the field. You know, when, uh, when he has something to say, he says it and everybody hears it. So uh, I would say it's Marquise. Uh, Andre is pretty loud too. Is he you know, really? Uh, when, uh, when he has something to say, he's loud. All right, little 411 on the Huskies from Andrew Adams. Andrew, thanks, good luck this season. No problem, thank you. This week, the students are back in the classrooms and the Huskies are back at the rent. So it's time to find out how much this year's students know their foe. Who is UConn football playing this week? Villanova. 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 
Um, they are playing Villanova, I believe. Villanova? Yes. Where is Villanova? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Where is Villanova? Uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What's the city? Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Philadelphia. What is Villanova's mascot? Uh, oh, 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 Bobcat? I think it's like the Wildcats or Bearcats or something. It's sort of like a cat, but way more wild. Wildcat? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a wildcat. The Wildcat. Wildcats? Uh, the Villanova Wildcats. Do you know what color Villanova is? Blue and something? There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are Villanova's colors? Blue and white. Uh, blue and white. Can you get more specific than that? Navy blue and white. Who do you think is going to win the game this Thursday, 7.30? UConn versus Villanova. Oh, UConn! UConn Huskies. We are, of UConn course. Football, of course. UConn Huskies. UConn Huskies, is that even a question? And now on the Blitz, it's a view from the booth. And who better to start out with than the Hartford Currents? UConn beat writer Desmond Connor. DC, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for having me. Uh, year two under Bob Diaco, from what you've been able to see in practice and listening to the players, what's the biggest difference in your mind? Um, I think, you know, initially it was very hard. Not hard, but I think some of the guys had... Uh, reservations about accepting what was going to be new here and that's always the case with a new coach but you know these guys had gone through losing for, for, for quite a while but they've seemed to turn around and adjust to it and, and kind of buy into it really quickly and I think that you'll see some of those results um, this season. It seems like the team once again the strength of the team is defense mm -hmm. and nowhere is it stronger than at the safety position with Andrew Adams who we had on a little earlier and Obi Melanfonwu. Absolutely. I think I, I said this last year. I think Obi is going to be a star here. Um, he's definitely headed, you know, to, to the next level. Um, if he keeps playing the way he is right now, he's a phenomenal talent. And Andrews just had a stellar career all the way through. You have to expect big things from him in his senior year. And I also think the two young guys on the D line who people are going to want to keep an eye on are the freak Foley Fadakasi. He's just a physical freak. And Luke Carazzola, who I think has. Uh, all the great defensive ends in UConn in his sights to become one of them. And he's, and he's one of those guys that's determined to not only do it for himself, but for his team. Whenever you talk to him, he'll say, you know, I want to do this for the seniors. I want to do this for the team. Everybody's invested in each other, and I just want to do my part. So, you know, doing it for the team is a really big thing for Luke, and you got to appreciate that from a young guy. It was no surprise on Sunday when Di Coach Bob Diaco named Brian Sheriffs as the starting quarterback. From what you've been able to see of him, Des, what's impressed you? Well, I mean, Joe, we talk about this for years. You know I'm a footwork guy in the pocket. I, I think that's so important to be able to work your magic in a small space. I think that's, that's very important to do. But I think the biggest thing that Brian is going to bring here is that his mindset for ball security is high. You know, he, you know that, that's more important to him than, than making a play. And if you think about what this team did last year with the 28 turnovers, that, that's a very important uh, thing to have, you know, for him mentally. But, but he can throw the ball, right. he can extend plays with his feet, but, you know, ball security guys, I mean, that, that's going to be important here to win games. I'm curious to see how the two kids at wide receivers work out. Coach Diaco has said two freshmen are going to play against Villanova. I thought Tyreek Beals, the, the freshman, was outstanding. Um, he's quick. You know, Coach Diaco talked about the number one thing that he does well is catch the ball. I mean, that shouldn't be underestimated. <laughs> I mean, that, you know, something like that. I mean, something like that shouldn't be taken for granted because you got to catch the ball, but you want these guys to make plays after the catch. And some of these freshmen have shown the ability to do that uh, as well. Last question, is this a trap game for UConn, FCS, FBS? Of course, Villanova, one of the best teams in FCS. And two years ago, we saw what happened when Towson came in. Yeah, I don't think they can afford to look at any game as a trap game. I mean, it's, I, to me, I think it's very important that this team start off 2-0 um, this year um, in terms of you know, showing improvement to everybody, showing improvement within the program and where they want to end up. Um, I picked them to win six games this year. You know I'm an optimistic yes, guy. Yes, you are. You're a half class full <laughs> Right. I, I do it optimistically, but it, that, that's predicated on getting these two wins here uh, to start the season, and I think that's good for, for the team this year and good for the program going, on, going forward. You can read Des in The Current, and you can also read him online at current.com. Des, thanks 
for your time. Always appreciate it. Don't forget, we'll be here each week during the regular season with the Blitz. And don't forget to check UConnHuskies.com on Friday for all the game highlights and reaction from the opening game against Villanova. Now, from ev for everyone, I'm Joe D'Ambrosio. We'll see you next time here on the Blitz.